Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about WooCommerce subscriptions and how to set it up. If you are running a membership website or if you want to add subscription products, uh, this is the video for you. First, we have to install the plugin and we go under plugins and we have to add WooCommerce first. I'll click install. And activate. Since WooCommerce subscription is a premium plugin, you have to purchase it first. And after that, you have to upload it to plugins. So you will not find it into the WordPress repository. After you purchase the plugin, you will get a zip file containing the plugin that you have to upload to your plugins. So under add new plugin, instead of searching for the plugin, you will click upload plugin and you will choose the file, which is the zip file that you got when you purchased the uh, plugin. Click install now and activate plugin. Now we have to go through the WooCommerce uh, subscription settings. And to do that, you either can go under WooCommerce and settings, or you just click settings under the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. There are a couple of settings here that you can adjust, uh, not a lot. You can um, adjust the add to cart button text, uh, the subscriber default role and other miscellaneous stuff. Go through them and adjust it according to your goals. To add a subscription, go under products and add new, give it a title and to be a subscription uh, under product data. Instead of simple product, you either select simple or variable subscription. The difference between those is that a simple subscription has only one pricing option and the variable subscription has multiple pricing options. For this tutorial, we'll just create a simple subscription. Now you will give the subscription a price and select the interval that you want the subscription to happen like every month, uh, every day, every week, every year, or every other month, and so on and so forth. Adjust it to what subscription interval you would like to have. After you are done with this, um, hit publish, and your subscription will be public for people to purchase. Another thing that this plugin offers is to manage subscriptions. Uh, the subscriptions that people already purchased. So to do so, you go under WooCommerce and subscriptions. Right now, I don't have any, but you'll see here what data this section contains, like the subscription total, the start uh, date, next payment, and uh, so on. One other important thing that you have to uh, set up as the payment gateway and to uh, do so you have to go under woocommerce and settings and from the top menu select payments for subscriptions i recommend you set up either stripe or paypal um, they are really well known they are pci compliant and you'll have no issues uh, with processing payments uh, with them and also subscriptions payments one other thing you can set up and adjust is the emails for subscriptions. So if you click under emails, under emails, you will see the emails that you and the customer will get whenever an event will happen to an order. To edit the emails text or design is not as straightforward. You have to either install another plugin to be able to edit them visually or copy the email template to your themes file and edit the PHP template there. That's it for this video. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below.